Are you feeling guilty about evicting a, a gay, disabled, African-American no, man you you from his... No, no, no. Yeah, this, listen, let's, let's do this. I will donate $20,000, okay, to Occupy, okay, no, to Occupy. Why would you do no, no, that? I would do that if it goes towards buying a product back from DMG at their cost, okay? Can you say the same thing about Occupy? You want help? Honestly, I always said it. You want help? Buy his house. We have no problem taking a loss I have no problem giving my own money on this, okay? But you want to do the same. You have me a camera? Okay. Simple, right? How's that sound? Yeah. Well, it sounds good, except that you evicted the guy. Just to buy it back? Well, we'll right. try to have Wells Fargo buy it no, back. No, 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 no. Wells is not doing it. We all know that. Right? Wells, well, we're going to get, go we're gonna get Wells. I was like, whoa. We're going to get Wells to do so, it. I, I was, I was very simple. So you'll you give occupy. Wells a 20,000 no, 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 discount. No, no, no. You're occupied. You're occupied right? You'll throw 20,000 into the deal. You'll throw 20,000 into the deal if we get Wells Fargo to do it. Occupy in there. Who you're did he no, no, no. You're constituent. He evicted okay. Larry Fox, an and elder African-American disabled guy. Yes, he did. He did? Sounds yes, he did. What, what happened to I Larry Fox? Economy. He's in his van now. He's living on the street. But what happened to him? Oh, he's living there for free for like three, four years. Why? <laughs> That's not true. He, over, he, he wasn't living for free. <laughs> he didn't use his house as a piggy bank. He was negotiating a loan modification with Wells Fargo and Wells Fargo sold his home at foreclosure auction when he still had equity in the home without his knowledge. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. They could do as they've done before with principal with a uh, principal reduction. Read a CBS news audit. It's a good one. They they can do it with principal reduction like they've done with other other uh, homeowners. Right? If they didn't, okay, the housing market would collapse. So all these people like us here to actually work and pay our mortgage. You call that work? go down. Work is throwing people out of their homes. You call that work? Displacing people from their homes is work, huh? I'm not sure whether that should be called work. Well, what about the ones that were making their payments? And what about the ones that were trying to get a, a loan modification on a predatory loan that the no, no, banks no, no, never no, should have given them in the first place? Yeah, how about the 175 million that? How about the 175 million that Wells Fargo paid because they were doing racist and predatory loaning? Why? Lending. Why would Wells Fargo pay 175 million for doing it if they didn't do it? I agree. I agree. I agree. The banks. That money Wells Fargo paid back to the government. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the 175 million they paid in a court in a to settle a court case. I'm curious. I'm curious about one thing. If if I decided to buy a home outside my means, or I took out some equity out of my home that I couldn't pay back. You know how much equity he had in his home. You know what, how wrong what you're saying is. No, it's not. He, you guys are you guys are getting hundreds of thousands of dollars of equity out of his home, and you know that. He had everything in his home, right? You know it. He had everything in his home. How much equity did he have in the home? You tell me. He had full equity. Yeah, he had not full equity. He didn't he didn't own the whole home at the time that it was at the time that he was foreclosed on. How much equity did he have on it at the time it was foreclosed on? In other words. What? Yeah, five hundred something thousand dollars. Let's, 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 let's discuss. Yeah, five hundred something thousand. Five hundred forty something thousand. I think he owed more than yeah, that. Yeah, five hundred. He, he took out five hundred forty thousand. All right. What's the value? Right. No, no. The value was about a million dollars. No, oh, that's so, jackpot. I, I, so these I, guys I, jumped I, on I, it, of I, course. Actually, Mr. Fox said the, These guys, million. DMG <laughs> Asset <laughs> Management. Jackpot, this unidentified gentleman who claims to be the the Probably biggest the me. biggest <laughs> manager at DMJ Asset Management decided to purchase this house <laughs> and make a killing. He was going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on this house. And I said the same thing. Now yeah. I could buy it back at our cost. Yeah. Well, Go we're, going to, we're going to do what we can to have Wells Fargo buy it back. I told you what to do. All the non-profits that I took trip to, okay, they raise funds from people that actually need it. Why don't you do the same? You want to help? Buy his house back. We don't have the resources to buy his house and everybody else's house back. You have like 40, 50 people in your group. 
How, do you know how many houses we're trying to protect? We're trying to protect hundreds, hundreds of houses that you guys are, that you, that you vulture capitalists are flipping for, from, for your profits. We actually saving the economy. Hey, is profit bad? No, no, stop, stop. Profit isn't. No, profit isn't necessarily bad, but profit, profit on the backs of people who are being thrown out of their homes is bad. Yes. Fair share. Have you paid your fair share? No, no, wait, stop, stop. I don't know yes, what you're pay. talking no, no, about. Yes, yes, no, 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 Will, no, I'll defend Will. I'm gonna defend Will. No, 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 I'm gonna defend Will. Fair. No, he lives modest. His, his mortgage, he put his home for 180 something thousand dollars. That's good. Right? 288. So, so he lived, he lived. 288 or 188? 288. I bought it at 288 in 1992, and I've almost paid off my mortgage. So this I, doesn't have anything to do with I, what I'm doing. I understand, no, I understand it. It has I to do with... Share. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's what the fucking Obama talks about. you got to pay your fair share. So what's your fair share? I've been paying my taxes. Share. I've been paying my mortgage. What yeah. What's your fair share? I've been paying my taxes. I've been paying my mortgage. I don't know what you're talking about. So what's your fair share? Anyway. You don't have a fair share. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's true. I'll tell you. Well, very easy, okay? I'll tell you honestly. I'm gonna say, no. I, we have no problems giving back to us, selling it back to, at our cost, okay? The problem is that if you can't afford to buy it, you wanna help him. You guys should be raising We work problems. with groups like the Sun Initiative. So have fine, you heard of the Sun wait, Initiative? Yes, fine, fine. The group out in Boston, okay? Right? We, the Sun Initiative. The to be able to raise, for us to be able to raise more than $800,000 for a house is, is difficult. Why? Because. We don't have that kind of capital. And why why is the responsibility shifting on to a bunch of citizen activists to fix this problem? This problem was caused by the banks. This problem was caused by This cause problem was caused by greedy speculators. He decided to go and take money out of his house like a piggy bank. He, he asked for a loan modification and they didn't give him a loan modification and then they foreclosed on him without his knowledge. Really? You yes. really believe that? Yes, I do okay. believe that. Okay, you really believe that? <laughs> I know it's true. It's true. I'm just saying, like, I'm telling you right now, okay, like I always said, okay, well, I trust your group, I like your group, okay? I have no problems with your group. Your group's doing a good thing. I just think the direction is in the wrong direction. Uh, honestly, I do believe you guys can raise funds. If you guys actually focus on raising funds to help people, it's not a problem. We have to get Wells Fargo to undo it. That's the Wells only Fargo's way. Wells not going to undo it. You watch and see. They've done it before. I know they've done it before. Well, it's done it before. Bank of America done it before. But they've done it for people that actually can qualify. Okay? No, and they've done it for a lot of different people who don't qualify according to their waterfall model. Their model says that they only so, give people a modification if they make a profit. That's what their model so, says. So. And it's time that people realize that when they enter into business, this is basic capitalism. When you go into business, you have a risk when you conduct business. You have to be able to occasionally take a loss. Yes. You can't always take a profit. I agree. Wells Fargo's loan modification model says that they always take a profit. That is wrong and we are going to stop them from doing that. Well, Wells Fargo wasn't the one that owned the mortgage to begin with. It was World Savings Bank. And well, Wells Fargo acquired Wells Fargo, well, Wells Wells Fargo acquired Wachovia, Wachovia which Wachovia acquired World Savings. World Savings. <laughs> yes. Well, that's that's how corporations work, as you well know. That's so that's I, our I, system. I, I, They're I all merging and so, buying so each can other. I ask a question: Why was all these <laughs> banks being told to take over? I missed the, the, the no, good just, actually, They weren't being told to take like, over. They were doing it because they thought they could make mega bucks on doing it. Anyway. Merrill Lynch wasn't acquiring them. Merrill Lynch got, Merrill Lynch got acquired by Bank of America. They were That's right. right. Merrill Lynch was doing such horrible yes, business yes, that they couldn't keep the their the vulture capitalists yes, from taking them over. Yes. Bear Stearns, Bear Stearns was saved. Okay. Was actually Bear Bear saved with rape. billions rape. of dollars of, Bear Stearns of taxpayer. Rape. Bear Stearns actually rape. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, the fact is, Larry Fox is now living in his van due to all of you guys. You told me last time. You told me Larry Fox is going to be moving.